questions? Are there any questions? Leader of the Opposition. Thank you, Mr. President. My question without notice is to the Deputy Leader of the Government, Minister for Primary Industries, Minister for Regional Water and Minister for Trade and Industry in his capacity as Water Minister and representing the Minister for Roads, Maritime and Freight. Mm -hmm. Given that a number of Western New South Wales communities, including Berkshire Council, have been forced to delay necessary roadworks as a result of the drought and the increased cost of water carting, what steps are you taking to assist affected areas such as Burke, Canamble and Walgett? <coughs> Great question. Uh, Mr. President, I thank the Honourable Member for his question. A uh, question asked of me in two parts. Uh, one, in my own capacity uh, as Minister for Water, Regional Water, and secondly, representing uh, the Minister for Roads. In relation to um, the uh, second uh, part, representing the Minister for Roads, I'm happy to take that part of the question on notice uh, and refer it to the Minister because uh, I'm sure that the Minister has. Uh, had some um, interaction with those councils in particular in relation to the impact um, that that may have had uh, uh, with the drought in some of those areas. We do know that one of the um, issues that uh, is happening across the state with the drought, uh, where we're getting extra fodder coming into certain parts of the state, uh, there may be some increased truck movements in, in some of these roads. Uh, I know it's something that has been raised directly with the Deputy Premier, um, the impact on some of these uh, roads because of the increased uh, transportation of either fodder or moving uh, stock off to uh, adjustment or off to sale. So that, uh, that is something I'm happy to take uh, and refer to that Minister for further information. Um, as I've outlined in the House, in my own capacity, in a number of areas, we uh, do have uh, provisions available for local councils for um, town water supply, uh, particularly emergency town water supply. Uh, from memory, uh, last question time week, uh, I, I uh, updated the House on uh, provisions and emergency uh, uh, assistance that we've provided to Canamble uh, Shire in relation to their water supply uh, there. Um, in relation to uh, Burke and Walgett, uh, I know in relation to Walgett that there is uh, 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 work uh, being done to look at the, uh, the weir um, for the Walgett Shire. Uh, I've also had uh, conversations with a number of councils um, in that part of the world um, uh, when I've been able to, to meet with some of them in relation to uh, water provisions. Uh, I'm happy to take the part of uh, the question that's directed to me on notice and come back to the member with some very specific um, uh, information in relation to uh, what we may be providing in relation to assistance uh, through our emergency provisions or what other measures we may be also providing to those councils through our safe and secure water um, uh, fund, a fund that is available for councils and water utilities right across uh, New South Wales, a fund that uh, we put a billion dollars into, uh, a large part obviously of one of the first commitments of that program was uh, to uh, provide funding for the uh, Murray to uh, Broken Hill pipeline yeah. and, uh, and um, other councils and water utilities across the state uh, continue to put in applications uh, with that program. <coughs> uh, but as I don't have the latest uh, information for those councils uh, with me that the member has asked, uh, as I said, I did update the House on what was happening uh, with Canamble uh, just recently. I'm more than happy to take uh, my part of the question on notice and come back to the member with a detailed response. Yeah.